forming event. Um, with that being said, in the beginning when Marta first got here, so this it was rural, still is, uh, and nobody was really coming this way, it was abandoned. Um, Marta did not have a lot of people watch her perform in the beginning. Of course, every performer loved an audience, right? Since Marta didn't have a physical audience, um, and she was still performing three days a week, she wanted her own audience, and she was going to give it to herself. She started on the back wall first, so that way it was front and center um, to what she could see. And she, over the course of six months, would complete that back wall. That includes a rough sketch. That would be the only one that she sketched prior to painting it. And then over the course of four and a half years, she would continue on the rest of the three walls. At that point, she of course had her own audience, but she was also accumulating a physical audience. There were about 60 chairs here to begin with. Later on, she would upgrade those. After she was done painting the four walls, it was about five years later, uh, she did decide that she wanted to paint the ceiling because it was a clean canvas for herself. So in the summer, which was her down season because it gets very, very hot out here in Death Valley, she would not perform to the public in the summer because it gets hot, like I said. But she would still perform her three days a week for herself and her wall. So she would dedicate her summer to painting the ceiling. She would go out back, drench herself in water, drench a towel in water, and wrap the towel on her head. Would come in here and get on scaffoldings, paint until she was dry, and just get back down and repeat the process until she was done. It took her two different summers. They say in real time, everything you see painted in here for Marta, it took about six years. All throughout that time, she was still performing her three days a week, no matter what. She would choreograph all of her performances. She was a great composer. She uh, also painted her canvas work throughout that time. She made all of her props herself. Also, she designed and made all of her costumes that she wore herself. So she was uh, definitely very uh, independent. She did everything really herself. Her husband that she came out here with, uh, they were kind of getting on the rocks at this point when things were finalized. She was getting more publicity at this point. National Geographic's came, um, PBS came, uh, LA Times came. A lot of things were coming in and Marta didn't ask for any of that. It was just word of mouth and uh, people heard about her. So of course they were interested as an artist and so these uh, publishers would come in and publicize on her. And uh, at that point, it kind of got rocky for their relationship. He was not expecting this to go this far, I don't think. 